Well, it's time for a little mini sketchbook exhibition. This is my very latest mini sketchbook to fill up. And up until about half an hour ago, it had nothing at all on the inside page. So I thought, well, we can't have that. And I went back and I put something in. Now, these little stones, these little pebbles, they were found in the sand under the water in Crete. Now, we found these rocks on our very first day in Greece. And it was so nice to come from an absolutely soaking wet and rainy Galway and to find ourselves in this lovely sparkly turquoise water and diving and fishing about for little pebbles in the sand. Just lovely. I'm not even sure what they're made of. I think they're probably quartz with little bits of, I don't know, something. Now I probably should have drawn them with a pencil and then painted them in watercolour. But I am kind of addicted to a pen line. <laughs> I guess I did my best. So on to the first little sketch. Well, I really like this sketch. I like the limited palette and I like the shine in the bottles. And this little cabinet of vintage bottles comes from a pub in Galway called The Hole in the Wall. And when I was going to college many moons ago, it was indeed a hole in the wall. But nowadays things are a lot more sophisticated and it's got a beautiful interior. And the owner likes to travel the length and breadth of County Galway and he likes to find uh, what's it called? Mm, cornucopia? Cornucopia, paraphernalia, memorabilia, memorabilia, that's the word, from all kinds of places that are closing down or up for demolition or whatever you might have. And a lot of those things are hospitals and old pharmacies and the like. And so you've got the most eclectic and very, very cool collection seen throughout the pub. It makes for fantastic sketching subjects. Another place in County Galway that is makes a fantastic sketching subject is the Church of St Nicholas in the in the heart of Galway, and it's the oldest church in daily use in Ireland. So there are older churches, but I suppose they're all derelict inside. And in this particular sketch, I used a watercolor brush first before I put on any ink lines, and it makes your arches much more likely to succeed. Outside the church is Galway Market and in this sketch I drew the people selling cabbages and vegetables and so on and then I drew the passers-by on top and of course I recorded the conversation of the people that I heard speaking. This sketch of two little boats moored down at the docks in the Clada in Galway City was drawn to demonstrate a few bits and pieces about reflections. Now, I'm not so sure that it came out as beautifully as I would have liked, but there you go. There you go. You win some, you lose some. Can't win them all. Now, those last four sketches came from a workshop I was doing in Galway City and no sooner was I finished the last sketch than I hopped on a plane and I went out to Greece with my family and I went to Crete. Now, I've gone through these sketches and told you all about Crete in a previous YouTube video. So I will say just a little about each of these sketches. I don't know what to say now. We had a lot of fun. The weather was very nice. The sun shone every day. I did loads of sketching. I did loads of snoozing. We were on the south coast where there is ne'er a visitor to be found. Well, the only visitors you have all the way down there are people who have some kind of a family connection with the area. However, they do have beer for sale in many of the nearby towns and in fact in the town that we stayed in. And I find that sometimes if other people that you're with are having a, maybe a second beer, you have time to do a really, really quick sketch. So that went down really, really well. And as did this one when we went to visit the capital city of Heraklion on the north coast of Crete and we drew some people sitting around in a bar and I enjoyed drawing them. It was hot, it was sunny, we were chilled out and two of my kids had gone to get waffles which gave me loads of time to sketch. And then in the museum, the good thing about using a water brush is you can do a full sketch on your feet standing up with all your little paints and stuff connected to your book and I tell you what, all that cool minot and stuff made a huge impression on me and on the rest of my family. It was so amazing. Back in our little remote village, I drew lots of other people who frequented the one cafe who ink and watercolour. Now, I did try and draw the guy on the far left's arms as he locked them behind his head, but I was too slow. 
and by the time I drew him, his arms were back down, so all you can see is white gel pen blocking them out. So this is the view looking in the opposite direction from that first sketch you saw with the two boats floating around in the bay below us. And you go up steep steps up to the restaurant, so you have a lovely view of the bay. And I got a little bit antsy when I was making this sketch. I was kind of conscious of everybody else having a lovely time and I was regretting my choice of hobby. But this one took me a very short amount of time to complete. I sat on the beach, I suppose, the beach where you're look that you're looking at from above in the last sketch and I drew a few people splashing around on a really hot afternoon. I think that guy with the snorkel appears a few times but sure that's sketching for you. Now the next one was done early one morning. I think this sketch sums up the place where we were staying very well. It's very industrial in the background with all those bunkers full of oil or I don't know bunkering oil or whatever it's called and the ship getting refueled and then it's got this perfect crystalline paradise -y bit right in the foreground. Yeah, funny combination of industrial and paradisical. Paradisical? I don't know. Here's my husband sitting there in his fabulous shirt and some lovely strong sunshine and two of the local lads in the background. Now this next place was accessed via a very steep cliff into which have been cut some steep steps. There must be a thousand of them. It certainly felt like that on the way down. Not so bad on the way back up. Now I sat there at this beach called Prevelli Beach while my husband and son went swimming in the sea, which I found less than appetizing. So I stayed and sketched instead. Now opening onto that beach is this incredibly gorgeous blue turquoisey greeny river on either side of which grow grows a natural palm forest and I got Paddy, my son, to stand and pose for me while I sketched him and then I painted the background in. Now this particular sketch is kind of cool. It's a big load of fundamentalist Christians from the United States who had travelled all the way to Crete to go to the place of the shipwreck or the near shipwreck of St. Paul. But apparently, according to the Bible, the Lord calmed the storm in order to keep Paul safe. I think Paul was in the uh, care, we'll say, of a centurion at the time. My favourite meal, Greek salad. Mm -mm. I decided to draw the food that I liked when I was in Greece and I thought it would be wise to choose food that was cold and wouldn't get cold as I drew it. And you can also see my favourite beverage, which is raki. It looks like paki, but that's an R in the Greek alphabet. My beautiful daughter and her lovely boyfriend reading books and lolling about in the afternoon sun. They had asked to be drawn and I was only too happy to oblige to fine young people that they are. Always a pleasure. Killing time in the airport in Crete. I think our plane was delayed as usual. Ryanair has got a shocking record at the moment. Who knows why, but if you are flying with Ryanair, just bring a good book or something to sketch with. Back home in Ireland, I was down at the beach and I was doing some sketching for this wonderful outfit that encourages people to do some nature sketching. And I painted these little crabs there and then on the beach. Actually, the ones on the left came back up to the studio with me. And encouraged by that and the convenience of my sketch pocket, I stood in the hedge just outside my studio and I sketched the blackberries and this spider making a web and including its little broken bit that it had done a repair job on. Well, in the spirit of using my sketch pocket for the most inconsequential of sketches, I was waiting at the bus stop for my husband to come and collect me and he took a few minutes to arrive. Just enough for me to get this super quick sketch in of the fellow on the right. And on the left, there was two young people sitting in the sun and they were very much uh, enamoured of each other. And uh, by way of a compliment, the fellow turned to the girl at one point and said, I wouldn't be embarrassed of you, which I thought, OK, OK, my friend, you need to up your dating game or your your love talk game because, you know, it's not great. Now, I do take the CityLink bus rather a lot from Galway to Dublin and back again. And I love to sit in the very front row and sketch what I can see. And sometimes I sketch the motorway, as I did on the left. And on a separate journey, I sketch the driver himself. I was sitting across the aisle from him. 
And there are two reasons why I like to sketch the bus driver on the CityLink bus. Well, number one, he's not going anywhere, so I can really get into it and enjoy it. And number two, I love sketching people, no matter where they are. Now this one, a bunch of rose hips was drawn for um, Hannah Mula for a little promotion they were doing, wherein I was supposed to um, show the Hannah Mula products, which of course this book is. And I really enjoyed painting and sketching these bright orangey red fruits. And when I came back to the studio the next day, the fruits had been severely nibbled and got at by a creature. And it turned out that the creature was mice and it was very sad and I was very disgusted. Anyway, on to this little sketch here. I was sent some paints by Roman Schmal to test out. They're the ones on the left hand column, the five colours. I'm not content with painting the front of a packet of Korean seaweed. I painted a boat in the docks in Galway. And this is what I came up with. And I just used five colours, so it was kind of fun. Then a few days after that, I was at a uh, talk that I was giving up in Farmley House in Dublin. And they have got some beautiful resident peacocks that are very, very cute and always go around together like three little brethren. Now, I find this concept very, very cute and adorable. I peeked in the door to the gallery and I painted a couple of punters admiring a few of the paintings on the wall. The guy on the right is very, very elderly. I need to paint his face so that you can tell that he's not a piece of wood. Well, the next day I found myself on the upper deck of a Dublin bus, trundling our way through the Dublin streets to Ikea, whither I was going with my brother. I have to say, pretty ideal kind of a day for me. Off to Ikea, have a look at some cool kitchens and paint on the upper deck of a bus with all that yellow. Okay, this last one is just a little sketch of some lilies that I haven't quite opened yet and they're on my dining room table. So you can check back with me when they are open and I'll hopefully do them justice. That's the end of my little sketchbook and I hope you've enjoyed this little, this little mini exhibition and I look forward to showing you the next one. Well, I've used my Hannah Mula 100% cotton watercolour book. I've used my Sailor Food A pen at a 55 degree angle. I've used my favourite Roman Schmal watercolours, the best there is. I have used, what else have I used? I've used Rohr and Klingner sketch ink and Deatramentis document ink. I've used an OR13 Rosemary & Co brush and a Sakura water brush. And of course it has all fitted nicely into my sketch pocket which will be coming out in the spring so I look forward to showing you all of that the next time. Bye for now!